hello everyone welcome back to a new video on the magpie review youtube channel hope you're all well today we will be speaking um, about the preview between newcastle united and villa down at villa park saturday lunchtime half 12 kickoff bt sports massive game massive massive game after newcastle have come off the back of three massive wins um from manchester united West Ham and Brentford will beat all of them. 9.79. Now we travel down to Birmingham to play Aston Villa. And Unai Emery has got them flying. Absolutely flying. The manager, I remember, Unai Emery was linked heavily with Newcastle United just before Eddie Howe um, became the manager. Um, um, he was at Villarreal. He pulled out. He said he wanted to stay there. He was committed in Spain. But I'm glad we've got Eddie Howe, but Unai Emery has done a fantastic job there. I think in league form now, in the last few months, they'll be fifth if they, they carry the season. I think they're just amazing. They've done so well. I think they're sixth at the moment in time. I think they're about six points, something out of Newcastle, something like that. Nine points it is, I. Um, so it's a massive, massive game for our European place because if they win, it goes to six. Um, if we win, it's 12. And if we draw to nine, so... A massive, massive game. That um, if we do beat Villa, I, I believe Europe is in the bag. I just do, but they've got some good, good players. Um, McGinn started scoring goals. Ollie Watkins, you know, they've got decent players like that. Um, you know, they've been winning some good, good games. Which they've been keeping an eye on their scores. We all know we don't get on with Villa fans, so it'll be a very hostile um, game down there. I'm, I'm sure of it with the fans. Unai Emery has done an outstanding job there. And it'll be a very, very hard game. I think this will be the hard, hardest game I've had all uh, the past week and a half or something. Because um, my net at home, I always favour were. Um, West Ham away, I thought that would be a hard game. I smashed them 5-1. Um, Brentford was definitely the hardest game out of all them. Beat them though as well. But this is a massive game against Villa. Villa are a very good team with Unai Emery um, with some very good players he's getting the best out of his team um, and they're pushing for Europe as well so they know if they beat us like they're challenging for top four you can't just write them off you know nine points back. if they win the six points back in top four so you can't write Villa off the form they're on the winning loads of games um, they haven't been beaten in ages I don't think they're just, they're just on the rise um, so Eddie I will know that we we'll know we've got a goal there. We we'll know it's going to be a difficult game, but I truly believe Newcastle, with the form of Isaac um, at the moment in time, he is a massive threat. He's a beast. He's got everything in the locker. For a centre forward, he can hold the ball up. He's magic with his feet. He can head the ball. Um, he can run in behind. He's an outstanding player, and this is why we paid all that money for him, that mega money, 65 million, whatever it was, from Real Sorcerer Dad for him, because he's just class. He's just class, and he's up to his top of his fitness now. And um, Callum Wilson scoring goals as well. Willick scoring goals. Um, the team's performing really well. Um, we know that Maxi didn't play the last game. He wasn't on the bench. So I think he would have been injured. I think, I don't know if it was a hamstring or not. I heard rumours. But um, yeah, Maxi's back will be better because he's been playing really well recently. He's not selfish with the ball. He's become more of a team player under Eddie Harv. I can see it. He is a player in there, but we need to see a little bit more from him. And I keep on saying that about Maxi because I know he's got more in there. I truly believe he's got more assists and more goals somewhere in there. And I just want him to hit that level at New with Newcastle United. Um, and I know he can do that. But yeah, big, big game down there. Um, you know, with two giant teams fighting for Europe. Um, playing some really good football both managers are decent very good managers and this is going to be an amazing game and I cannot wait to watch it on BT Sport on Saturday afternoon I'm really looking forward to it um, Miguel Miron I heard was back in training I think it was yesterday training with the first team for the first time because um, we all know he picked up an injury so will he be ready for tomorrow I'm not too sure um, possibly be on the bench Oh, you mightn't play at all, but don't know, but we'll have to wait till tomorrow to see Eddie Howe's team lineups. I mean, not tomorrow, Saturday to see the team lineups. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go for my prediction. Whew, I'm going to go for a mad, crazy one. Um, and I'm going to go for 2 2. 
I'm going to go for Aston Villa 2, Newcastle 2. I'd love to win there, but the way they're playing at the minute, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. I think it's a very difficult game. Uh, if Newcastle do come out with a win, though, then oh, I'll be buzzing my tits off. But to get a point away at Villa at the moment, to the form they're in, I'd take that. Pretty, I'd snap your hand off, but you want to be winning all your games from now because the top four is probably between Manchester United, um, Newcastle and Tottenham for that third and fourth place. Um, obviously, you've got Brighton underneath with Villa. It all depends what the score is at the, end, uh, the full time with Villa and Newcastle. But if we do beat them, um, I just truly believe that between Man United, Tottenham, and Newcastle for the last two places in the Champions League. So, you know, big, big games coming up. Newcastle have got like how many games? Like nine, nine cup finals. Um, basically, you just need to win them all. Win them all, and we need this Champions League, people. We'll be in the top four for ages now. We dropped out a few weeks ago, went to fifth. We're back in the top four again. Now we're third in the league. You know, if someone said to me, we're third in the league in April, I'd say total absolute shit. It's absolutely unbelievable. I'm loving it. Um, instead of fighting relegation every season, having no hope, no, no nothing, we well, now have got owners in who are just amazing. Can't fault them. They're full of passion. Um, doing everything right for the club. And you can just see with the right owners in, we're just risen up them tables with investment as well from Dan Ashworth and stuff like that. It's just incredible. The journey's still at the beginning. We're still looking at the future with them Premier League titles, Cups, Champions League football, Champions League medal, them Champions League trophies and all that stuff. That's all 10 years ahead. But for now, we are flying. I think we're well advanced for where we are with the team we've got. But... I'm loving it, I'm enjoying it, and every single one of us fans out there are enjoying it as well. So yeah, everybody, I think I'll leave it there. Um, let me know in the comments section your score predictions for Way at Villa on Saturday. That would be great. Um, if we could subscribe as well to the channel, give it a like, give it a share, it's totally free. Why not help me out? That would be great and all. Thank you very much, people. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you on the next one.